Hi all, Planet Side Agent here. Today I thought I'd do a video on the last of my uh, Primus 71 stoves that I have, and this one happens to be part of a kit, a cook kit. Um, again, I got this a few years ago on eBay. These, like again, the prices on these are going through the roof, but uh, anyway, I was pretty lucky to start out with. This is, I think it's a similar cook kit. It's a Swiss made. Allo Plus, never heard of them, but uh, maybe eventually became SAG. I think built a lot of these, but uh, made in Switzerland. This kind of a kit was designed for this stove. So uh, it, uh, I don't think this is the this strap that came with it from the guy I bought it from on eBay. It's probably not the original. Uh, probably the original was lost or melted. You know, anything that's loose is going to get lost. That's pretty much guaranteed. <laughs> So anyway, yeah, I think originally it probably had more of a cloth strap, which a lot of, uh, used a lot back in, in the early days. So this one is uh, some kind of a plastic, uh, like material, but it does the job. I guess if I was a purist, I'd try to track down the old uh, cloth type belt, but I'm not a purist. <laughs> I don't know if it'd be easy to find, maybe be able to make one, I don't know. But anyway, it... It worked, and I think it probably worked for the previous owner because this thing was a little dirty when I got it. It's not perfectly clean yet any, either, but uh, it uh, obviously was used. It wasn't a showpiece like what I have. <laughs> yeah, you can kind of tell that uh, over time, I've flattened a little, some of these out, but uh, you can tell whether it was banged against the top of the... the uh, Probably banged against the uh, the top of the stove here, put dents in it, and the bottom of the pot, which I'll show you, had a lot of dents in it too. So, like I said, this thing was used it, probably for many years. Um, I took it out, but this came with a with some. You need some sort of a cloth protection in here to keep the bits from rattling around and to keep the stove from sliding around. That's probably why these dents were in the top of this. Is this? As a stove, you know, you can see the jet comes up. Whoops! <laughs> now you can see the jet comes up above. It probably banged against it, you know, as it was as it was being transported. So, anyway, so what came in it right now is uh, there's a the old classic uh, pot holder, which is a great pot holder. The uh, key, which the chain was lost. I didn't come with the chain. Uh, here's the bell to the stove, and then the stove itself. And then we'll show you this. The stove, actually, to keep it from sliding around, uh, I think I need to, I need to straighten this out. I think it's a little warped. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a warp to it. So this, it's got this little, these rings in here, this little half ring with a lip to catch the stove. Uh, probably could fit in there a little bit better so it doesn't rattle around especially when you're carrying it or using it so and then you got the hole here where you can get in with the valve adjustment and when you use it you need to put the bell back on Oops. so we'll do that real quick okay and then to use it then you put the stove in and this little notch there and then it had this piece here which is uh, I guess to part to keep the heat from from uh, keep the heat up and keep stuff from slopping down on the stove when you're cooking but this is another piece that fit right on there you can see that okay so that fit in through there and then you get with it it came with two pots they both have uh, 15L on it the 1.5 liter on it so probably, you know one's just a little bit smaller than the other you can, I don't know if you can see that 1.5 stamp in there no other markings on it other than that if you look at this one uh, yeah, I don't know why this one has all those dings in the bottom knife, little sharp end dings. Uh, it's, uh, 
it's a puzzle because none of this uh, it actually touches the bottom of the stove. So I don't know what the guy did with it. <laughs> you never know. Maybe his kids got a hold of it and were playing with it. Who knows? But uh, anyway, yeah, that one. This one nests inside here, and then this goes over the top here. And then you've got two pots you can use, and they have, which is nice, they've got a little lip on there, so they're, they're not going to go anywhere, so, which is nice. And then here's the lid. I guess you could also uh, use this as a frying pan. I really love these little pot holders. They, they're lightweight, and they work great, so... Uh, but it's, it's graduated, so, you know, it fits snug on the, uh, the different, different pots. So it's not going to slide around. So I, I do like it, stuff being secure, less likely to get uh, knocked off, especially this particular setup. <laughs> you know, uh, I don't, I don't know about you, but, you know, uh, some people are just natural, naturally born klutzes. You know, they're going to knock something over if it's not bolted down. And this setup here, which is probably going to be, I, I, you can't be klutz proof, but it's going to be klutz, klutz resistant. So, which is pretty nice. I once uh, was backpacking with a friend and I saw her, she had a just a regular uh, modern stove and... Uh, she had her pot stuffed on it. And she was messing around, standing around, and I could just see it coming. And I thought about saying something, but I know if I say something, that would just make it worse because then they'd, you know, go, huh, and then kick it over anyway. And sure enough, she knocked her dinner over. <laughs> it just, <laughs> you could, I could just, the way her setup was, I could just see it coming, but one of those things, like watching a train wreck, you know, you just can't, you can't yell and scream. It's not going to, it's going to happen. So anyway. So that's the uh, cook kit here. You got your your pot on here. So say so you could probably use this for a fry pan or whatever you want to do, but it's a nice little setup. Kind of similar to the uh, Trangia uh, cook kit that you use uh, with uh, alcohol stove. I don't know which one predated the other, but uh, so it's kind of a nice little kit, I thought, pretty cool. So I thought I will go ahead and fire this up for you. I did pre-test the stove and it, it worked. So we'll uh, take this off and uh, we'll fire the stove up. So let's see here. Make sure to keep this all in frame. There we go. Make sure this is centered so I can get to the valve to get it going. Uh, I don't know if I should bring this in a little bit or not. Eh. Maybe I will. Let me turn you off here for a second and, and reposition so you can maybe a little better look on the stove when I fire it up. Okay, I think this is a little better. Well, let's go ahead and fire this guy up. So uh, I'll put a little alcohol in here in the little cup to prime it. I like using the alcohol because it doesn't soot up like you can use. I think originally we're des designed to use uh, just the fuel from the stove. And some people do. Some, some people get a, a little straw or, or a uh, eyedropper and get fuel out of the tank and put it in here. But it, it, it soots up. It kind of dirties up the stove. And, you know, you want to keep this beautiful brass as clean as possible. So, anyway... Oh, I should have, well, okay, darn it. Should have shown you the stove before I <laughs> fired it up, the stove itself. Uh, crud. I already got the fuel in there. Let's go ahead and fire it up first, and then I'll let it cool down, and then I'll show you the actual stove, because it's the same. Uh, it's a 71, similar to, it's same, the upper half is the same as this 71 here that I showed in a previous video. I'll, uh, I'll post that uh, in the description, a link to that. This has the, the chain, which this one was actually got broke off and lost. So anyway, but this upper part here and the valve and all are all pretty much the same. Uh, 
except this tank is the short this is the short tank which i i think it was the predecessor then they came back and made this this model with a little bit taller tank and i'll i'll compare these two when after it, i get the burn done and it cools off so yeah i kind of got ahead of myself here <laughs> so anyway go ahead and get that started Watching priming, that's exciting stuff. I guess while I'm waiting, I'll go ahead and put a little water in the pan because I don't know if I'll bring it to a boil, but I'll just put it on there at least. I'll throw a little water in the old pan. There it goes. Okay, priming is complete. I guess if you're good, you can judge just before the last of the alcohol burns out and you could turn the stove on, but yeah, matches and or lighters are cheap. So anyway, let's uh, open the old valve here. There you go. Fire it up, looking good. Let's go ahead and put this shield on. There you go. I'll take the camera down here and we can look at the look away while I move if you're suffering from motion sickness. There you go. See it burning in there. Love these old style stoves. Oops. Go ahead and put this back here. Or, yeah, then you could uh, go ahead and put the lid on it if you want. Actually, you could probably almost use this as a double boiler. I was kind of going to take this to see if it uh, would nest in here. Anyway, yeah, water's not much water in there. It's already starting to steam. I'm just going to take it off here. And we'll go ahead and turn this off. thing I like about these Primus stoves, uh, the action on this valve is just butter smooth, and uh, and you don't you know you don't have to reef on it to, to tighten it up you know like a water faucet or something. I mean you just you just take it to the end and it barely taps and and it's it's off. It's just very very easy. You can hear the gas come out, but uh, yeah it it works very well actually. Works better than the Svea one two three, I think. But I I fired up a couple of these of my uh, other ones here, and uh, they're all just very smooth action, very nice valves. I'm really pleased, especially with all the trouble I had on my one Svea one two three R, having the valve shut down and then it kept continued to candle. These don't candle. You 
you go to the end, you just it barely hits the end of the valve travel and bang, it's off. So anyway, so let's, uh, we'll let this guy cool off a little bit so I, I can handle it. And uh, then I'll show you a better, closer look at the stove, which I should have done in the first place. But uh, anyway, I'll be right back. Okay, it's still a little warm, but I uh, kind of want to wrap this up and get it edited together and, and post it today if possible. But uh, anyway, yeah, so let's just take a look at the stove itself. It's, uh, like I said, it's, it's very similar. It's a, it's a 71, except for just a smaller tank. You got the really nice uh, pressing on the uh, stamping on the outside, number 71. Probably one of the better pressing. But like I say, it's a, it's a smaller tank. If you take a look at this 71, which is, that's funny, this one, the, the 71 is all in one piece where this says this is Primus and then the 71 made in Sweden is on the other the other side so this one doesn't it's more similar to this tank uh, no this tank it's an older one yet yeah Primus 71 on the back uh, this one had a stamp on the back which said it was made in 1925 I believe which is pretty cool but this one doesn't have a stamp on the bottom, so no idea on the date. But as you can see, that the, 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 the other stove, the tank's just a little bit higher, so it'll carry a little bit more fuel. But uh, it just needs this one. This one has to have the smaller tank so it will fit inside the cook set because it would, this one would never work in, in the cook set. Also, this has a pretty good lip on it, so it fits in the little slot. In the stove, I imagine this one will fit in there or not. It actually fits better, <laughs> but it'd be too high for it to, you know, hit the get underneath the lid. But uh, so that's that's the stove itself. So when you're all done, all you do is uh, unscrew the the bell, put it in. Put in the, uh, the, pot, the pot holder. And of course, the key would normally be on a chain. And then, uh, like I said, everything mixed together. The small pot goes inside the big pot. This little spreader, whatever you want to call it, fits inside there. This fits inside there. And you would, oh yeah, this one didn't come with a, uh, a pricking tool for the vent. Probably got, like I said, it's, it's loose, so it probably got lost shortly. <laughs> Things tend to get lost. I might try to go online. I think even Tilly or there's, a, I think there's some people that actually sell these. So I might just buy one just to uh, complete the kit. These, these three came out of these, two of these, uh, my other 71. So... Anyway, you probably want to put something in here, a rag or something, just to keep all this from rattling around and dinging things up. And of course, you put the top on, then you put the, oops, <laughs> sorry there, bang, this was hooked around the tripod. Uh, seal it all up, so, anyway, there, uh, you can kind of see them there. Kind of hard to see. Just for show, I'll throw this on. But uh, anyway, there. How's that? Now you can kind of s more or less. <laughs> there you go. There's. Uh, my collection of uh, four Primus 71s and one Optimus 80, which is basically uh, exactly the same stove. So, anyway, uh, yeah, and of course an old Seveo 123 sitting over here. But anyway, that's the uh, the 71. It's part of a cook set, which is really neat. So, 
Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.